And two of the great artists of our time representing the groundbreaking legacy of hip hop in America, LLJ Cool J. Uh, <laughs> by the way, that boy's got, he got, that man's got biceps bigger than my thighs. I think he's been. And MC Light, both of you, thank you. governor in Westmore, I tell you. He's the real deal, and the boy looked like he can still play. <laughs> he got some guns on him. I know that somebody running for president of the United States, somebody running to be the leader of our party, should know that using the word boy in the way he did uh, can cause hurt and pain. And we need a presidential nominee and the leader of our party to be sensitive to that. Vladimir and I, we, the, I should, shouldn't be so familiar. Uh, Mr. Zelensky and I... Uh Putin may circle Kyiv with tanks, but he'll never gain the hearts and souls of the Iranian people. He'll never, he'll never extinguish their love of freedom, and he will never, never weaken the resolve of the free world. Some people ask whether you are fit for the job. And when you hear that, I wonder what you think. Watch me. I mean, honest to God, that's all I think. Watch me. Now that Joe Biden's in the office, um, there was just a poll out, 77% of Americans say that Joe Biden at age 80 is too old to be president. Are yeah. they right? No, not, not for the reason of old, because I have many friends that are in their 80s. I have friends, Bernie Marcus, that are in their 90s and they're sharp as a tack. Just, I mean, I would say just about what they used to be. Uh, no, not old. He's incompetent. Mm -hmm. 